Hello, my name is Daniel. I'm from Ukraine. Um, came into America in 1998. Just want to share a little bit more about from my past and um, what the Lord has been doing to my life, how much He actually protected me and the things what I've done. And I'm ashamed of the things that I've done, but I'm not ashamed of speaking about it because Jesus, Lord, Jesus is so amazing. And uh, so when I came to America, 11 years old. Um, I grew up in a Christian home, in a religious home. I just, you know, just grew up in that just environment. Just have to do this and that, and and when when I just rebelled, didn't want nothing to do with God at all, and rebelled, went into the world. I ended up, you know, stealing and end up in jail. Being wanted to kill myself, put a gun to my heart, wanted to just pull the trigger. The the bullet never came out. Uh, shot my own leg. Sell drugs. I've uh, been in jail for over a couple years. The devil wanted to kill, steal, and destroy, and he just did that exactly through my life. I was stealing, destroying other people's lives, just destroying the surroundings, hurting people. Coming here to immerse, such a great experience of just a revelation of just, just in, in, engaging with the Father and just understanding how much He loves me, the identity of who we are in Christ Jesus Himself, and. Just looking back, the things that I went through, just a little testimony, just a little bit what God did in my life and how He protected me. Even a month and a half ago, I actually had a seizure. I died for two minutes, my brother told me. And just being here a month and a half later and how God just takes from nothing and makes something, it's the most beautiful thing. And that's who God is. God takes from evil and turns into good, and that's what He's doing in my life. And just so thankful for the Holy Spirit. Thank, thanks, thankful for Jesus. Revelation of who He is and how much He cares and how much He wants to just to the to have the relationship with you is just amazing. And I never really thought about it. Just it's it's truly touching and just it's such an encouragement. And right now just understanding going back home afterwards. This is just the beginning for me, but I'm just saying as I going back home and just understanding the the relationship with the Father, having this 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 relationship that I would not even want to compromise that because I understood what this is really about and how much He loves me. Even though I would make mistakes or whatever, I'm not even going to think about it because I have that connection with Him. And it's so good because it's free. Seeing the Bible in the drawer and just saying, wow, the most powerful weapon, the most powerful word, it's right beside my bed. And we don't even open our eyes for us to realize and it's so amazing how His Word comes to life and for me to become life, for me to become His Word and, and for me to release life and release the Word and igniting others. Love is not selfish. Love is selfless. You think about others. But for me not understanding that before I came here, I was like all over. It was just like a cycle doing the same thing. Either I'm hot or cold. I looked warm. I'm just either which one would you choose? I said, I'm in. I'm all the way in. I'm tired, tired of the past, just excited for the future. And the future is God himself or who he is. And that's the beauty and just so excited to be part of. <laughs> and it's amazing because we, if we look through the Bible and we see how God chose, how he worked through his, his, his people, Abraham, Moses, Jacob, it's just so amazing through David, Solomon, you have all the apostles, how, he, how his, how he just healed and the sickness and his signs and wonders. Why not me be part of it? It's about us making the choice. You have the free will and I made it. I'm so excited making that choice and me being part of the future testimony. It's amazing because it is the book of life and we're going to be sharing it forever. I'm excited and truly just being touched, realizing the reality how much I need God, more and more. Just being connected to Him, just more and more, just wanting Him more and more. Realizing how weak I am without Him. Taking this and just being connected to Him on a daily basis, it's the most beautiful thing. And it's just, God is so good. And He is love. Love is patient, love is kind, love is gentle. He wants to embrace that and just hold us and for us to understand. He just wants to wake us up. Wake up. 
I was so stubborn, God just keeps waking me up. But that's the beauty. I let him, I let him in. I let him in. I just want to, I just want to encourage and whoever is watching, this is real. God is so real. And he's amazing. He loves you. He loves me because he touched me dearly. Never rebuked me, never condemned me, put me to shame, none of that. He just said, Don't, what you did, I forgot. <laughs> he, just, he just loves us so much. He loves us so, so much. He just loves us so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Blessings to all. In Jesus' name.